Hello everyone, I am Ankit and you are watching Steady IQIS. Now the picturesque location behind me is of a place in Tamil Nadu that is Mukurthi National Park. And that is why I have put the picture because we are going to discuss a protected area in Tamil Nadu known as Mukurthi National Park. But why are we discussing this protected area? Let us understand this. Now an expert panel of the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, it has granted permission to carry out what is known as the exercise of environmental impact assessment study related to the proposed Upper Bhavani pumped hydropower project which is being constructed in Nilgiri Hills and it is just one kilometer away from a protected area Mukurthi National Park. Now obviously Mukurthi National Park becomes important from exams perspective because it is news. Now for any development project you need to conduct an study on how that development project will impact the environment, how it will impact ecology of the region, how it will impact the natives of the region. And we understand development is important for a country like India, but we can't ignore the environmental impact of the development. And therefore, it has been assumed and it has been told to us repeatedly that we need sustainable development. And therefore, the importance of environmental impact assessment is quite prominent. But in our today's discussion, our subject would be Mukurthi National Park because this is the context of our today's discussion. Now let us understand the Mukurthi National Park. Now in terms of the location, this location is located on the western corner of the Nilgiri Plateau and prominently in the northwest corner of the state of Tamil Nadu, which you can understand from this map. Now this area is the Nilgiri Plateau and this Surrounding areas is full of protected areas. You can see Rajiv Gandhi National Park, Bandipur National Park, Mukurthi. And we are talking about this particular location, which is in the northwest corner of Tamil Nadu. This is the border of Tamil Nadu. South of it is the districts like Trichy, districts like Madurai. We are talking about the northwest corner of Tamil Nadu, where this Mukurthi National Park is located, very close to the picturesque location of Kunur Hills and also to the district of Coimbatore, a major industrial region of Tamil Nadu, right? So we are talking about Mukurthi National Park. Now the location of this national park is in the Nilgiri district of Tamil Nadu and within the larger Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve and Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve has the distinction of being one of the UNESCO's World Heritage Site, particularly an ecological World Heritage Site. Now the reason for creation of Mukurthi National Park was to protect the flagship species of the region Nilgiri Tar, which is also known as the keystone species. What are keystone species? The species if you decide to protect automatically needs to protection of other species in the region. This is called as keystone species. So ensuring that the ecological condition, the environmental conditions of the keystone species prevail in the region that will protect and ensure the development and increase in population of the keystone species. So this was the original intention of creation of Mukurthi National Park. We'll talk about Nilgiri Tar in today's video only need not worry. Now, whenever you are reacting or you are understanding relating to any important protected area, you also need to understand what are the major water bodies and rivers flowing through the region. Talking about Mukurthi National Park, here Paikara and Kunda rivers are the ones that are flowing through the park with several other perennial water streams that originate in the park and ultimately they drain into the larger Bhavani Puya river in the region. And Paikara river is also very important because it is a sacred to the Toda tribe who are inhabiting the particular national park we are discussing today. So what we understand here from our today's discussion, Paikara and Kunda are the rivers flowing through the park and they are draining into the Bhavani Puya river. And the Paikara river particularly is important for Toda tribe who is inhabiting this region, right? Now, other important facts that you need to remember regarding this protected area is the important vegetation, the flora as well as the fauna. Let us talk about the vegetation of the region. Now, this is characterized by montane grasslands and shrublands. Why this region has montane grasslands? Because if you understand the larger climate of uh, Tamil Nadu is a tropical climate where even in the winter months, you wouldn't see the temperature falling below the levels of 23, 24 degrees centigrade. But now talking about this particular Nilgiri plateau, this is located at a higher altitude. Altitude. So automatically, this region is one of the coldest regions in Tamil Nadu, where this 
plateau even has famous uh, hill stations like Uti, like Kunur, etc. So automatically the vegetations here would prevail or would suit a more colder climate. Therefore, it is characterized by mountain grasslands. But the most important vegetation in the region is known as Shola grasslands. These Shola are the characteristic of Nilgiri grasslands and these are the grasslands which are prevailing on the high altitude regions particularly with high rainfall. So these are called as Shola grasslands. Please remember that. Now the important trees that are available in the region, you can find shrubs like Galtheria, Frag Fragrantissima, Helichrysum and even the Berberis tinctoria. So these are the important plants that are available in addition to the common plants like Lododendrons, again important from high altitude regions, Cinnamon, an important spice, Mahonia, Citarium as well as Raspberry. So these are available in the region. Now talking about the animals that live in the region, I talk, told you the reason for creation of this protected area was to ensure that Nilgiri Thar becomes protected. So Nilgiri Thar obviously is the flagship species which we are talking about the national park. Other important species is Nilgiri Langur, Nilgiri Martin. Martin is basically a species of weasel that is characterized as a vulnerable species. Also these Nilgiri Martin, these are arboreal in nature. What are arboreal species? The species that are majorly inhabiting or available on trees and they only come on land to seek their food, etc. And also these species are diurnal in nature. What are diurnal species? The species that are active during the day and they sleep and rest during the night. These are uh, diurnal species that for example, humans are also diurnal. Now we are talking about Nilgiri Thar, which is the most important species. Other important species that are inhabiting the region, Indian elephant, Bengal tiger, obviously, and the bonnet macaque. So let us talk in detail about Nilgiri Thar. Nilgiri Thar is this species. So you can understand from this, this is basically a kind of mountain goat, right? So the important facts about any species that we are going to discuss, obviously we have taken a holistic approach where we identify habitats, habits as well as protection status of these species. So ultimately we'll understand Nilgiri Thar also from this particular perspective. First, let us deal with the important habitats. Now Nilgiri Thar is a form of mountain goat which is endemic to Western Ghats region of India and local or in local language it is known as Varayadu in Tamil and Malayalam. Now the habitat which the species prefer, it prefers mountain grasslands, particularly Shola grasslands ecosystem that are at higher elevations like 1200 to 2600 meters above sea level. Now the big and the most surprising aspect is the population of Nilgiri Thar is not highest in Mukurti National Park. It is highest in Aravikulam National Park. This is a protected area located in neighboring state of Kerala. This national park, Ravikulam National Park, has the highest density and the largest surviving population of Nilgiri Thar. So if the question comes, are Nilgiri Thar highest in amount in uh, the Mukurti National Park, the answer would be incorrect, right? Now, Nilgiri Thar also has the distinction of being called as the state animal of Tamil Nadu. So this is why Nilgiri Thar is important for this region and also for broader for Tamil Nadu, right? Now, another important aspect, I told you, we have done habitats. Now, let us understand the habits of the species. Now, habits of the species that it is the only mountain ungulate living in southern part of India. And it is among one of the 12 species of mountain ungulate present in India. Now, what is ungulate? Ungulate is basically an animal who is herbivorous in nature and also having hoof. What are hoofs? Is the kind of feed that you'll find in horses and cows, etc. So, this also has a hoof therefore it is called as an ungulate species and its food habits is it is a herbivorous animal now the grown-up male of nilgiri thar is also known as saddleback why saddleback because they have a light colored patch on their back right so this is why they are called a saddleback and the most important distinction about nilgiri thar is that you can identify their age how you can actually determine their age by counting the growth rings on their horns right so if you see this image of the Nilgiri Thar, you will see here there are rings made on his horn. So you can identify the number of rings and it will tell you the age of the animal, right? So like you count the age of trees by counting tree rings. Similarly, you can count the age of Nilgiri Thar also by counting its ring on the horns. So these are the important habits of the animal. Now talk about the protection status. Now Nilgiri Thar is actually categorized as an endangered species in IUCN Red List. Whereas coming to the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972, this gives the highest protection status to Nilgiri Thar, that is Schedule 1. So it means hunting 
and capturing and trade of this animal it is actually prohibited by law and if you do that you will be punished severely similarly trade of this animal is prohibited unless there is an emergent circumstances or emergency like circumstances because if trade would happen the population of this species would dwindle dramatically therefore these are categorized in appendix 1 of the sites uh, agreement right so this is the conservation status of nilgiri tar please remember it is an endangered species so in our today's discussion we covered in detail about mukurti national park and the flagship species that are available in mukurti national park that is nilgiri tar now before concluding our today's discussion let's see how many of you are able to solve this particular question please do solve this particular question and let me know the correct answer in the comment section and what do you feel about this move does this creation of a new hydropower project near this mukurti national park will lead to the destruction of ecology or is it really necessary for the state of tamil nadu what do you feel about it do let me know in the comments and do not forget to write the correct answer also while you at it and if you want to download the notes these will be available on my telegram channel this is called as ats life which you can search using the top right hand corner of your search bar in the telegram app and also you can scan this qr code an easier job you will find the channel subscribe to it if you still haven't and download the notes okay so i'll see you again tomorrow at 9 until then please have a very good night